Let us create the program asked in the first problem of project 4. First cl click this finder and then something may be displayed uh, here but click uh, this uh, symbol uh, for home, this one. Then click CS, double click CS and now uh, assume that you already had downloaded PROJ4.zip uh, to your desktop like this. Please double click this to unzip. And then move the created folder to here. Uh, look inside here. You will find two programs, okay? In this session, for the first problem, we are going to modify this abcprint.rb. Okay, now we can now uh, cl uh, close this finder. And then let us start code editor. And then click uh, file and then open. And uh, click this home symbol. And then double click CS and double click PROJ4 and then double click this ABC print.rb. Okay, okay, this is a pro program. As we explained in the previous session, this is designed so that each and all characters would be displayed one at a line, uh, one at a time. Let us run this program for real. First, open the terminal and go to the room of this program. Okay, for this, uh, CD, CS, flash, PROJ4. Let's check whether we have a program, LS. Okay, we have this program, ABC print.rb. So let's run this program, Ruby, ABC print. Dot RB. Okay. okay, then you get a message asking for a stream. Uh, so let us type in, for example, tick percent tuck and enter or return. As you see, uh, we have all characters shown on the screen. What we need to do is to modify the program to show only lowercase English letters. Let's go back to the editor and modify the program to show some more information besides characters. For this, uh, first comment out this statement. By this way, this line is skipped uh, in the execution. Then we add like this. code uh, underscore a print i comma colon comma a of i comma comma uh, this Option N. Okay, let us first, first consider this statement. This is a print command uh, in order to, in, it orders the computer to show these items on the screen. Let's see these items. The first one, this one, uh, is the ice character of SS. The second one, uh, this colon symbol as a separator. The, then the third one, this AA of I, is the code corresponding to the character SS of I. Then following the comma, uh, the, the value of the variable dist is displayed. What is it? Okay, in the statement just above, uh, the variable dist is assigned like this, okay? Uh, this is uh, the, the code of, code of uh, uh, ice symbol minus the code of uh, this, uh, this uh, variable. 
Uh, recall that we saved the code of the letter A, that is 97 in ASCII, in the variable code underscore A. So uh, this minus code underscore A uh, is the distance of the SSI from the letter A. Okay? So the variable, this dist, uh, keeps the, this distance, and then this is displayed here by the print command. Okay? Let's uh, execute this program. So save this. And then Ruby ABC print dot RB. Okay? Then let's input, for example, CAZ percent capital CAZ. Okay? And then this time, not only the character, but also its code and the distance from the letter A is displayed. For example, this one, okay? Uh, this is uh, C, the first character. This C is the first character of the input string, okay? And then its code is 99 and in ASCII. And then this distance from A, the distance from the letter A is 2. Okay, let's check uh, it is indeed 2. Okay, uh, well, the character B is next to A and then uh, has a distance from A. Then, uh, and it is clear that C, this character has a distance 2 from A. Okay, so this is correct. Note that uh, the code of letter C is 99. So the, this, this distance uh, is, can be computed by 99 minus 97. So our method of computing the variable this is correct. Similarly, this is the code of letter A, okay? And then clearly distance of A from A is zero. So like this, and then uh, this is Z, letter Z, and then uh, this distance from A is 25. Well, uh, there is a 26 lowercase English letters and then Z is the last. So the distance of Z from A must be 25, which is the largest among the all lowercase letters. So this number is also correct. Now, look at this line. Uh, okay, so this shows the percent, okay, this symbol. Uh, this percent and then actually the code of this percent is 37, okay? Um, and then uh, this has a negative value because the code of this symbol is smaller than uh, letter A, code of A. So, uh, okay, similarly, these are codes of the CAZ, okay, these are codes of CAZ, capital letters, and they are all uh, before lowercase a. So the distance are all negative, okay? So distance of lowercase letter is equal or larger than zero, and then it is uh, at most uh, 25. By using uh, this property, we can distinguish lowercase letters and then others. Uh, let us program this idea. I think uh, you have already figured out what needs to be done, uh, the if statement, right? So uh, what you need to do is to use the if st statement to check whether the distance is between 0 and 25. And if so, then uh, display the character and uh, note that the distance from the letter A is kept in the variable dist, okay? So uh, what we need uh, to do is something like this, okay? If zero larger than or equal dist and small than or equal the 25, then SSI, print out symbol, the I symbol. Okay, something like this. 
Okay, just comment out uh, this print statement. Okay, but unfortunately, however, uh, you cannot write like this in uh, Ruby. We cannot compare two things at once. So first, we would uh, check whether the distance, uh, this dist, is larger than or equal to zero, and then um, uh, we compare this dist. Is smaller or equal to 25? Okay, so we should write in this way. Okay, so uh, this uh, two ampersand signs is end logical end. Okay, so this means that uh, the, this condition holds if uh, this is uh, this is larger than or equal to zero, and this is uh, smaller than or equal to 25. If both of them hold, then this dist is between 0 and 25, okay? And then, in this, uh, if this condition uh, holds, then uh, only then uh, this put statement is executed. Otherwise, if uh, this uh, variable dist uh, doesn't satisfy this condition, then uh, no statement is executed, and then uh, the execution uh, simply proceeds to the uh, next character of the string, ss, okay? So let us run this program. First save it, and then... And then let's try this tick percent tuck, okay? Then, as you see, only lowercase English letters are shown on the screen. Let's try this with uh, something else, okay? How about this is a pen? Okay. Let me uh, examine this input string in more detail. There are two uh, space symbols here and here. Uh, three, I'm sorry, three space symbols, okay? And then, but these symbols are ignored. And then also, this capital letter T is ignored, okay? So let's see it. You see? Uh, then only lowercase letters, H, I, S, I, S, A, P, E, N. Uh, and then uh, this final exclam exclamation mark is also ignored, okay? So only those letters, lower letters, are displayed. So we could get the program that we wanted.